Hello everyone, this is Scorpa and welcome back to another episode of Escalon Book 1. Last time we gained another disease, so we're back in town. Hopefully we're gonna rest a bit and then we're gonna continue our journey to help a sick man to the west. So I'm gonna rent a room for the night. We're taking it and we rest it. We still have the disease, so that's quite annoying and I believe... Uh, curing it will take quite a bit of gold. So let's see if we... Ha oh, nice, we have these emeralds, although they don't sell for much. Let's see if we can restore our health again. So we're going to the magic shop. And trying to see if we can sell anything off. But we only have 28 gold, so... That's probably not enough. Um, hmm. Hard leather band armor will sell for some as well. So we're walking towards the blacksmith. It's a nice sunny day. So let's see if the blacksmith is in the right mood today to pay us some gold. I'd like to see what you have for sale. So we're gonna sell off the copper hammer and the hard leather band armor. Uh, we probably won't have enough still, but uh, it's at least something. We have a few unknown potions with us. With us. So let's see if we can do anything. I haven't seen a spell yet uh, that could cure a disease. We have bless. Cat's eye, leather skin, and flesh boil at this moment. Yeah, those are the only ones. So let's see if the priests can help us. Yeah, we still have the potion of uh, restoration, but it's for the sick man. So no, we're not not that bad. Uh, let's see. I'm cursed. I need spiritual restoration. I'm in need of healing. Let's see. Restoration service for all your ailments will require a donation of 50 gold. Wow, we should have done this earlier. We bought those potions, remember? They cost a lot of gold. And we're healed. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, we should have done that before. Okay, well. Learning every day, people. Learning every day. So we continue our journey uh, to the south and uh, we're gonna go to the beach and then uh, take a route to the west because last time we were a bit lost. We walked uh, to, the si uh, to the village of uh, Elder Hollow but yeah there wasn't a pathway further west so yeah we had to come back to the city of Aridel. So we continue to follow the road. We haven't mapped this area yet, so we're getting a new uh, map, which is uh, quite nice. So hopefully we will not encounter any beasties. So we can save up our mana and health. For when it's really needed. So we're nearing the salty coast, I believe it was. So, yeah, small reminder to myself, do not loot any. Oh, damn it. Any skeletons on the way, but we encountered some slimes already. Forgot about these. We left them last time here. So that takes care of one. And there's another one right over here, but he's either haven't seen me. Oh, now he has. There, take this. So we took care of them. Two slimes. Gain some more experience, which is always nice. But we spent half our mana. I believe we have normal regeneration now. So let's see what these slimes were guarding. Because everyone knows where there's a slime, there's loot. So let's see, we're walking uh, through some dense forest. Walking slowly to the west and we see another slime. So let's see if we can take care of him as well. Two shots of our flesh boil takes care of it. And I hear another slime. There he is. Happily we have long range with this magic spell. But it seems he's bringing friends. A lot of them. So let's drink this mana potion. And see if we can take care of them. But it's really, really annoying that they keep resisting my spells. Because now we need to drink 
all these magic potions. Which I really didn't want to do, but... Just like that. Okay. Now, the question is, can we reach this chest? Because, ah, yeah, we can. Let's see, what do we find? More weapon fragments. A book, Goblins of Theramore. I believe we already had it once. Yeah, we read it that before. No, we've got another weapon fragment. I really no idea what we can do with that. But, uh, well, time will tell, probably. Also, note to self, do not sell any more alchemy reagents. Because we're gonna need them. Hmm, this is the smart move to rest up. So we have zero mana at this moment. Oh, and don't walk through needle bushes. Not good for your health. Hmm, we're coming, uh, seeing some rocks at this moment, so we're coming to a different uh, region, it seems. Still some dense forest. And I saw a house over there. So I think we're going the right direction. Let's not rest up. Uh, mana regeneration is you know, all right. It takes a lot of steps before it regenerates, though. So that will is still our weakness. We have quite a bit of armor, but yeah, it's not really enough. And we got some salamanders here. Let's see if we can take care of them. There, are, there are quite a few. Hmm, the four of us, four of them, and only one of us. We need eight mana. Uh, let's see, can we force them in some kind of bottleneck somewhere? Wait a moment. We have to watch out for the other one though, because it's poisonous. So we kill off one. Noximanda. We have to watch out for that one. That's really annoying that mana is uh, hard to come by and our fists are mighty but not that mighty. We can't hit them with a torch I believe. Let's just wait a bit, let's see if we regain, regain a lot. Enough mana. We hit the Noxy man there. Eh? So I don't want to hit it with my fist because I don't want to get poisoned because we do not have any antidote. Nice. We we're able to take care from it from a distance. But still, mana regeneration and another needle bush. That's annoying. Come on. Yeah, next level we'll be upgrading our fist skill a bit. So we have more chance to hit. So we're walking a bit further. I'm gonna rest a bit. And not have enough room to pitch your tent. So I'm gonna sleep a bit. Hopefully we can spend the night here. Bit of risky place, but well. Okay, and we got some friends, it seems. I'm seeing two bats at this moment. So let's see if there are only two or more. Okay, there were just two. So let's spend the night here till it becomes day. Okay. So we are rested and good to go. We don't have full mana yet, but... I think we'll manage. At least it's going better than uh, <laughs> some of our other attempts at fighting enemies. Okay, let's see. It's a bit of a maze here in this forest. But I believe we have to go this way. It's also nice that we finally are getting a minimap. Uh, let's see. We're walking towards which seems to be a lot of TNT barrels. So that cannot be good. Hopefully it's not a trap of some sort. 
Hmm, I cannot target the TNT barrels as well. Yeah, for the first time I'm just gonna save, just to be sure. And it's gonna be a YouTube. YouTube 8, story. Save, just to be sure. Because I really do not want to get blown away. Okay, it seems to me we found the house with the sick man. There's nothing around the house, so let's enter it and see if we can help this poor bastard. Hopefully he's not giving us an ailment. Of course, first loot, but there's nothing in it, so... You see a withered man in dirty clothes. His skin is covered in open wounds and the smell of infection hangs in the air. He seems to have been caught off guard by your presence. Oh, you startled me. I thought you were one of those wretched cult purse thugs that are always trying to sneak in here. My name is Paul. I don't know who you are or what you want, but I warn you, I'm sick. You best not stay long or you're likely to catch what I've got. And we are going to reply. What happened to your skin? I've gotten an effect infected with a disease called flesh rot. It kills me eventually. It is a murderous thug in the areas. Don't get me first. Paul pulls the sleeves down over the sores on his arm. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I've tried countless remedies and potions, but the disease has progressed too far. I'm just trying to stay comfortable for the time that I have left. So we can I'm gonna reply with greetings. I'm just passing through and hoping that you could chat with me about this region. He says, sure, I don't see many travelers pass through here anymore, so I'm happy to chat for a bit. This area is called the Salty Coast because twice a year the tides rise extra high in the flood most of the lowlands south of here. The soil along the shoreline is so salty that nothing grows well. It used to be quite a nice place to live, actually. Just a few years ago I spent my days gathering salt and growing herbs to sell in Adoholo. Then the war came and any sense of law and order disappeared. Now I spent what days I have left just defending my home from the thieves that roam this area. That's why my blast barrier is full. So if any of those bastards tried to get near I sent them all to their grave. We're gonna reply, Blast Barrier, nice! <laughs> yeah, I used it a couple of times though, doesn't leave much to clean up but fragments of bone. So we're gonna reply now with, I've been asked by Father Miguel at uh, Bethel in Aridel to give you this potion. It will cure your disease. Give him the potion of absolute restoration. Father Miguel, you say? You hand him the potion. He takes it and examines the count content of the flask by swirling it around and then smelling the dark liquid. Suddenly he walks to a window and throws it out, smashing it upon the ground. You damned fool, that was not a healing elixir. When have you ever known a healing elixir to look and smell like boiled down Noximander Vandom? We reply with, I was just trying to help, I didn't know. Paul picks up a dirty rag and rubs his hand with it, making sure none of the poison splash onto his finger. Father Miguel is the person responsible for infecting me with his disease. Foul piece of troll dung that he is. Apparently he is upset that it hadn't killed me yet and was hoping his potion would finish me off. Paul tosses the rag out of the same window he tossed the poison, adding it to the toxic trash piling up outside the, his house. See, I know things. I know he's involved with the goblins somehow. We reply, what do you mean? Well, a few months ago, there was a messenger passing through the salty coast area, heading to Aridel. He was attacked by thugs down near the shoreline and was killed. And when I found his body, there was a ladder floating in the water nearby. The salt water had broken the seal of the ladder and I saw it was for Father Miguel, from a goblin named Gramuk. It was instructed for for finishing a portal to allow goblins to travel to the dark f fort region. When Father Miguel heard that I had recovered his sealed letter, he sent someone to retrieve it. He also sent me a whole salted ham to show his uh, appreciation for my effort in securing this letter. But, but within a day of eating some of the meat I was 
stricken with a horrible disease. Apparently the father wanted to make sure I hadn't accidentally read anything that might incriminate him. We reply with, so why would Father Miguel be involved with goblins? He says, I don't know, all I know is that I actually kept the original letter what I sent back to him was something I copied by hand and well changed a few of the instructions around. Paul smiles. I was able to restick the wax seals on the fake letter so that it looked legit. There's no way the portal will ever work with the instruction I gave him. Look, if you really want to help me, take this original letter to someone in charge. Someone who has the power to bring Father Miguel to justice. Don't show this to anyone in Aridel. They all think Father Miguel is some sort of damned saint. They won't believe what I've told you. Take it north to Darkford and show it to Captain who oversees operations there. He's probably the highest in authority remaining in this area of Theramol. So we... we we can reply with several ways, yes I believe you, I will do this task, or no I don't believe your story and uh, will not do this task, or whenever or not I believe you is irrelevant, I really don't care either way and I have better things to do with my time. Hmm. So what do we do? Let's see, we go for... I believe you. I will do this task. Paul replies, thank you. I'm glad to have this off my shoulders. Take the note I gave you to, caption, to the captain at Dark Ford. You may need some convincing the guards to let you in, but I'm sure uh, he will be very interesting to hear about Father Miguel's actions. By the way, I think the portal Father Miguel is working on is somewhere near Dark Ford. I heard that he owns a cottage up there where he frequent frequently visits, spending many hours in engaging in his techno theological study. Okay, well, so it seems Father Miguel is a bastard. Uh, can we read it? Yeah, let's not just to be sure okay well we found the guy completed the quest and that will be it for this episode so it was really exciting to be honest i didn't expect this twist in the story so that's gonna be interesting when we return to father miguel but yeah that's something up for the next episode so do you think we should go back to aridel and talk about uh, with father miguel about this or that we should should head to dark for to the captain let me know down below in the comments and i will see you soon and as i talked about in my channel update i will be doing a different rpg on the tuesdays so if you have any suggestions please leave them down below in the comments i will do four episodes about that rpg and then switch back to escalon book one make four episodes of that as well and then keep swapping around till we completed escalon book one but this allows me uh, to make different content for you to enjoy because maybe there's uh, even better RPG out there. Uh, please let me know. Um, I prefer older games because, well, they're <laughs> generally better in my honest opinion. But I will not exclude uh, new games. So let me know down below in the comments and I will take a look at it. So thanks for watching. This has been Corpa and I will see you next time. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed it, click the right annotation to go to the next episode once it is released, click the annotation in the middle to go to a video you might enjoy, and click the annotation to the left to go to the previous episode. And remember to follow me on Google+, Plus as it will help me establish my own brand, follow me on Twitter for all announcements and my thoughts on things, and join me on Facebook as it is the place where all social media of mine comes together.